I didn't know I had fans. You have to remember something. <laughs> this is all new to me. <laughs> what was great fun is when you go to a market after that, you've been on the show and you'll see if anybody's going to recognize you. <laughs> so you go walking around, you know, <laughs> I'll go down this aisle. I don't really need anything in that aisle, but I'll walk down it anyway. <laughs> so, I, you know what? I didn't really pay that much attention to it. I really got the impact. I'll tell you, when I first realized how, how really significant that show was and what we meant to the public, uh, when you do a series, and especially you work those five days a week, you cut very early in the morning at the studio and very late at night. So you're like in this warehouse, all right? And you've got lines to learn the next day. Well, I, the show that really made an impact on, on me with the audience was a show called uh, Big Mac. It was the one where General MacArthur is going to visit uh, the camp. And so uh, everybody's going to get ready. Oh, my goodness, we've got to be prepared for him and everything else. And, of course, Klinger, he starts showing up in these different outfits, and, and Colonel Blake wants to hide him. It, it's an embarrassment. They don't want General MacArthur to see this character. You know, I, I think I had joppers on with a riding crop, and I had a Japanese uh, geisha outfit on or something. So the whole idea, oh, my goodness, he's going to be coming, he's going to be coming, and you got to prepare for him. And so, of course, General MacArthur finally arrives. He comes through. Everybody stands at attention like that, and he drives right straight through, doesn't even pay any attention to the MASH unit. And then you see him, he's down this road, and all of a sudden he perks up, and he, he looks over to the side, and he salutes, throws a highball, and it's Klinger in the Statue of Liberty outfit <laughs> with a flaming torch, you know. Where he got it, I have no idea. <laughs> but, and it, well, I tell you, everybody told me they'd be sitting at home and they actually fell off their sofas and their chairs on the floor laughing at that last bit. I happened to go into Beverly Hills that next day and I was walking around there and bus drivers would be honking a horn and waving at me and cab drivers and people that were just on the street driving all over the place. I go, oh my goodness, they, they oh my goodness, the MacArthur oh, Statue of Liberty. And I said, wow, you know, we're not just in that warehouse at uh, Pico and Motor Avenue. <laughs> we're going out all over the, <laughs> the world, you know. People are watching this show. So that's, that's the one show that really made an impact on me.